Merry Christmas! It is Christmas Day, and welcome to another episode of Vodka with Veronica. On this special Christmas episode, I thought I might uh, do something a little fun. So I'm gonna drink some vodka, but I'm gonna drink it with some egg, that's the French side, eggnog. So I'm gonna drink a bunch of eggnog, and then I'm going to make this mini village gingerbread kit. And for the purpose of speediness, expediency, I'm going to drink doubles so that I can feel the effects faster and this will be funnier. Oh, that splashed all over me. I am seriously spilling vodka everywhere here. That is quite a bit of vodka. Eggnog. I'm going to spill this everywhere, I guarantee. This is difficult to do. This is why they use uh, martini shakers. This is why. There's just like a layer of vodka just skimming on the top. Which I suppose isn't a terrible thing. And I'm gonna put a little cinnamon on the top. It's like eggnog martini. Okay, here goes. Not bad. It's strong. But it's not terrible. Oh, these gingerbread houses. Oh, don't forget to eat. On to the next one. On to the next one. And harder to do, I tell ya. Ah. God damn it. It's everywhere. I was trying to fill it up so that it wouldn't, so that it would be more eggnog and not just a bunch of vodka. I should just be drinking vodka. I'm, cl I'm cleaning it. I'm trying to be more careful this time. So difficult. Not like I'm being a big baby about it, but try and mix a drink at eye level, standing up without a table. Seriously. I'm gonna try and pour it and mix it, but I can't do it on camera. So just know that that's what I'm doing. That actually worked a lot better. My third double martini, I'm still putting cinnamon on it. I just wanna say that. It's much darker than it was, which leads you to know that I have been actually drinking this whole time. Um, also, I'm probably gonna look worse and worse. In fact, I should probably do one of those. Gingerbread time! Let's say they're a little stingy on the old candies. There's only, there's some sprinkles and then some jujubes. And, but like, there's like five houses. I mean, I guess they're so tiny. Like one jujube is like the roof. <laughs> I just turned the pouch over and it says right on here, easy build. Like, I feel like you just got this at Home Depot to build gingerbread houses, except it's icing. So I'm working on the gingerbread house uh, gingerbread village, and I'm trying to decide what the five different houses are gonna be. So I decided that one of them's gonna be my house, cause it's Veronica Village, so <laughs> I need to live somewhere. <laughs> one of them's gonna be a little V house. Uh, one of them's gonna be a liquor store. So there's gonna be a Nova Scotia Liquor Corporation, which is NSLC, shortened to LC. We call it the LC here. There's also going to be a pub because you need more than just a liquor store, right? You need somewhere to go out and have like social time. So there's going to be a nice little social sort of like Irish pub situation. It's going to be a shoe shop because I like shoes a lot. Furthermore, I have a lot of really great friends who are really great cooks and sometimes I go over to their places and it's really fun and we have dinner and drinks and stuff and same with like, you know, my mom and her meals and drinks and stuff. And so I'm just gonna make like a commune house where they all live together. It's like a big joint house. So of the five houses in the neighborhood, then we can all like go to the pub together. See what I'm saying? The shoe store. And then they can all go back to their little joint house. All these adult women can all live in a house together. That's my plan. I also read somewhere um, 
and I also watched a couple YouTube videos on gingerbread houses, but it was like actual bakers making them and they decorated them before they put them together. So pro tip, decorate the pieces before you glue them together because apparently that's easier. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna decorate the little things before I put them together and then it'll look super pro. There's totally a gap here. Like I just put it together, there's totally a gap. So like, I guess that means you have to put these things on. I don't know. It's gonna be a problem if some marine gets in. That says shoes. You might think this is a star of some kind on the roof. It's actually a pizza. Pizza. I know this is the house to go to to eat with the fork and the knife and the spoon. I only have white icing, but that's a shamrock. These may look the same, but this is a beer stein and this is actually a harp, which is like a symbol for Ireland. But I'm four double martinis in and that's what it looks like in icing. So if I'm thinking logistically, I think that my little house needs to be in the center, right? Because I want to be the closest to the action. So I'm gonna like glue that down, I guess. Is that what you do? You just glue it. You just really sloppily throw some icing on there. How do I fix this business? I'm gonna just like throw some icing up on here. Problem solved. Pipe a little icing next to it so it looks like it's supposed to be here. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay, so I added the group home here and then this is the shoe store over here. Because I'll make a conscious effort to go here. I don't always need to go here, but the liquor store right here and a little pub is definitely necessities. The top left corner is the shoe shop. Top right corner is my friend's house with the pizza and the wine and the fork and knife and spoon on the roof. Middle is obviously my house. Top left is the liquor store. Top right is the Irish pub. See that Celtic knot? You see it. And then there's like candy yards <laughs> and little pathways. It's hard to see the white on white, but there's actually little pathways. This is, I think, my fifth double martini, so that's 10 shots of vodka. Um, and that's in the last two, hour, two, maybe three hours. So I'm, I'm going at a good pace. But I did the gingerbread village and it looks like garbage. It looks like total garbage. The thing is, I'm actually like pretty crafty. So if I were sober, that would have looked like an actual village, but um, it doesn't. Um, thank you, eggnog and vodka. And, um, but I'm still, I'm still okay with it. I'm still okay with it. But I just realized that my mm, lipstick. So Merry Christmas from me to all of you, or I shouldn't say Merry Christmas because not everybody celebrates Merry Christmas or Christmas. <laughs> Eggnog and vodka is actually okay. I wouldn't suggest two shots of vodka. It kind of dilutes the taste of the eggnog and it's just not, it just makes it a little bitter. And eggnog is so lovely and creamy and sweet. Um, by the time you get to the end, it's okay because most of the vodka, like somehow when you pour the eggnog in, then the vodka like rises to the top or something. Science and stuff. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you next Friday. Cheers. <laughs>